Hi, my name is Krishna and in this video I'll demonstrate how we can use NetStack to identify network condition problems in your environment. We are going to learn how to interpret NetStat logs, what are the important attributes we need to watch for and how NetStat helps in identifying network condition problems if exist in your environment. Consider the scenario where the worker node is trying to communicate with master gateway node and because of network condition problems if exist the heartbeat or the response between master gateway and worker node is not happening on time and that results in the worker nodes going down the, the it's not only restricted only to master gateway or worker nodes any network communication can get affected if because of a uh, network condition so how do we debug such problems in order to identify any network issues netstat is the important diagnostic log we need to collect first i will show you uh, the response or the values that netstat log shows in a normal working environment versus how the values will be in a network condition environment that will help us to understand things better and what are the important attributes we need to watch for so this is um, uh, one of our local machine in which I am running netstat command uh, the command netstat minus a in as we can see the netstat log actually shows different uh, attributes the first being proto which is nothing but the network protocol name receive queue which is the number of bytes that is not copied by the user program connected to this socket send queue buffer number of bytes not acknowledged by the remote host local address that is the IP address and the port number on the local machine foreign address so the IP address and the port number on the remote machine it is bound to and lastly the state of the connection like listen established or close wait etc in case of a uh, healthy network environment when you take a net stack the important attributes we need to see are receive queue and send queue buffer values in a healthy environment scenario the when there are no network related issues the receive and send queue values will be typically zero in case of uh, network condition scenario we see that the receive and send queue values are high abnormally high not only in one snapshot but when you take netstat at multiple instances when you are seeing this network condition the multiple set of netstat logs shows the receive values or the send queue values are being consistent between two different IP address nodes which they are communicating over the ne network I'll show you a sample of one of that such snapshots taken during uh, network condition problems and then I'll compare and explain how the values will be different this is a snapshot taken from one of the environment where the network condition problem is there and as we can see the values of receive queues are high uh, this is only one snapshot which I am using for this video demonstration but the multiple snapshots which are collected from this environment shows the connection of between these two nodes the receive queue values are very high if if the thread stacks are taken during this particular problem we will see that thread stack shows that they are performing a read operation when the receive queue values are high and uh, if the thread stack shows that they are performing a write operation when they are when the send queue values are high the network the receive queue values being high could be attributed to either network condition or lack of system resources at that particular point if the VM stat is also taken um, along with netstat during the problematic scenario 
we can look at VM stat or net stat together. VM stat helps us to confirm if there is any starvation of system resources and uh, if there is nothing of that sort we can completely rule out system resources starvation issue and uh, the receive queue values or the send queue values being high in the net stat consistently across multiple um, iterations of net stat values taken is an indication of network condition problem itself so in case of network condition problems uh, we need to look at uh, the network communication happening between these two nodes and uh, involve your network admin and take a look at the topology on how these nodes are communicating and this will help us to narrow down and uh, identify from where the network um, condition is causing from sometimes in an enterprise environment the network will pass not only through two different nodes but through a router so looking at different entities and the topology aspects it will help us to address where the exactly problem is and that we that can help you to nail down the issue to summarize we have learned how to interpret netstat logs and what are the important attributes we need to look at netstat logs that will help us in identifying network condition problems we'd love to hear from you you can provide your feedback through email you can write to us at support videos at informatica.com or you can follow us on twitter account infasupport thank you